楽しみにしてるぜ。Welcome back, guys. This week is a special video. As you know, this is the first video in the gym, and don't worry, we'll get to those clips in a second. Now, I did bring a special guest with me today in the gym. His name is Tom Basketfield, and he's also a personal trainer down at the gym I work with. Very good friend of mine, old school friend. So, this week, we are bringing you a shoulder workout where we're going to be showing you some exercises you can do in the gym. Hitting the posterior, anterior, medial, get wider shoulders, really giving the 3D effect and building bigger delts. As you can see, the first exercise we've got into now is the dumbbell shoulder press. Now, this is a really good exercise because it does give you wider shoulders, really hitting the lateral deltoids on the Exercise working symmetry in each of the shoulders, so you're really bringing up both of the muscles at the same time instead of leaving one to lag. And this really does work to stabilize the muscles in the shoulders as well while you're doing these programs. And for this exercise, we're going to be doing three sets of 12 reps. Now, we're going to be showing you from the front and from behind for most of these exercises so you can understand the sort of form and how you're getting along with it, making sure that you do engage these muscles in each of the exercises. Now, as we're moving on to the next exercise, this is military press. And in my opinion, this is my favorite shoulder workout just because it does have a lot of benefits and you get a real good pump when you perform this exercise correctly. Now, as you can see here, we're doing, I'd say about three sets of 12 reps are really getting that hypertrophy training in. Now, you are using a lot of muscles to stabilize your grip upwards and coming down while you're trying to hold the weight and really engage certain muscles. So typically, you'll be working. Without even realizing, you'll be working your shoulders, chest, upper back, triceps, and biceps just for the whole movement. And it really does work the lower core, even if you don't think about it or you're not trying to engage those muscles, they are being used during this exercise. It really does build upper body mass and strength because you can really hit this exercise heavy while hitting your shoulders, but your upper body as well really bringing good strength to that. It's a safeguard for your shoulders and it increases your lockout strength. And what I mean by your lockout strength is the way that you lock out at the end of the rep. It can really help in other exercises when you're struggling. To get the last two reps out, and your arms are there. And when you get that lockout, you know it's really helping your motions to push you through the last couple of reps. So, this exercise is excellent for anything that you are trying to achieve. Now, we're moving on to the lateral raises, and these are really effective and one of the best shoulder exercises you can do if done correctly. Now, what you're going to be doing when you're sat there is you're really going to try and focus on not moving any of your body. Just your shoulders that are moving up and down, really trying to engage the muscles as you come up, and it's really going to work the middle of your delt there. And there are different ways to do it. You can be standing, or you can be seated. You can do suicide ones. You can lean into it, and leaning into it really gives you the push to get your arm all the way up parallel and even above, just to stress that muscle a little bit more. But it is an excellent exercise. But make sure you do it correctly, and you're not swinging your arms up and down. Otherwise, you're not going to be getting the desired effect of trying to grow the muscle. Now, you do want to keep your form tight with this. As it is a very important exercise for your shoulders and can do so much for your delts, growing them, heightening them, and really trying to get that good strength in, especially trying to stabilize them for the other exercises. Now, the fourth exercise we're going to be going into is more of a superset. Now, supersets are one of my favorite exercises. I'm not all for the heavy lifting, power lifting type of regime. So, what we're doing here is an Arnold press. Into front raises. Now, this is an excellent burn for your shoulders. Whereas the Arnold press hits your posterior and your anterior and the medial, you've really got your front raises there just to help show that definition and really put the extra burn. And now, when we start with this Arnold press, now you really want to be going in for your 12 reps again at a nice heavy weight, but not tiring yourself out too much. When you drop the weight, you're going to get into another 12 of your front raises. Now, this is an excellent burn, really trying to maximize the growth in the muscles. And supersets just help with the endurance. When you're feeling tired, these just really help you to try and endure through it and help you get through the other sets where you're not working so heavy. But the supersets really help you getting through this and it can really push you on to finish your workout. Now, shoulders are excellent because you're going to be feeling it in your biceps, your triceps, a lot of it in your traps, your back, and some of it in your chest. It really does help build a strong core. And good form and good stability while doing these exercises, allowing you to go heavier, pushing further for the extra couple of reps, really past the threshold you're stuck on or you're trying to achieve and carry on going. And this is a superset. So once we've done the rear delts, hitting 15 reps, we're going to go straight into some reverse cable flies. Now, this is an excellent burn just after you finish the rear delts because you're really going to feel it. Now, all these exercises we've performed about three sets because you know this is a lot for a shoulder workout, and this is an excellent finish just burning out the rest of the muscle, trying to stretch. Stress the fibers enough to open up and fill up with blood, so it's really getting a good pump, allowing you to get the growth you're trying to hit, especially in the medials, the posterior, and the anterior. Shoulders are the building blocks of your body and hold all the weights that you're going to be doing for your upper body and help stabilize them, especially when you're doing back or your chest.
chest and you're really starting to tire and you're starting to struggle, having good strong shoulders today is just gonna help stabilize you for the extra last few reps, making sure your form is correct and reducing your injury. Same with all the other body parts. It is very crucial to have a good core and a good strong body while you're doing this, just so you are reducing the risk of injury and you're really trying to maximize the growth in whatever aspect you're coming from in your training. Now, there are a couple of things that I do wanna talk about now we have got with the exercises out the way. I wanna say a big thank you for Tom for coming out and helping me with this video. You know, it's been a real good experience and it's good working out with someone else to try and show you not only my perspective but their perspective and how they do it in the gym it really is good to work with other people especially friends you know it makes working out so much more fun because it's not all serious all the time you know you do want to go there have fun with friends and make some good games together so big shout out to Tom make sure you go follow his page it is linked in the description down below he'll be coming out with some videos soon you know he's got a lot coming up so it's good to make sure that you go follow him and another thing that I wanted to talk about was the competition that I said about in the first video coming up for the first 100 subscribers one male and one female now, they're also going to be linked in the description below. We've been in talk for the past couple of days. I've partnered up with One Dream Athletics. They are an American-based gym clothing company. They really do have a good range of apparel for men and women from, you know, gym vests, gym tops, trackies, and leggings and everything. So if you use my code, which is linked in the description below, Revel Fitness, or it's on the screen here, you get 15% off your entire order. And that's amazing. If you are looking for some new gym workout, make sure you go over there, use the code, and save yourself some money. In the meantime, thank you very much for them so for the competition for the one male and one female i will be giving away some selected pieces of clothing and it will all be done in a lucky draw once i reach 100 subscribers i really do look forward to representing their range in the next few videos and thank you for them hooking me up with some good gear and the code you know is really nice and again that is going to be pretty much it for the video so next week i should probably be getting into a back video so hopefully you've watched this shoulder video and you know you've taken notes down on the type of shoulder exercises that you like or you want to try in the gym but most of the exercises we try to keep for Obviously some there are you have to do in the gym, but some of them are just dumbbells or you know you could even hold handheld weights that you can find at home. I'm trying to approach people that aren't in the gym as well so they can still follow along and get the most out of their exercises. So yeah, that's gonna cover it for this week's video guys. I hope you enjoyed the type of video that I've got here where you've watched the exercises and you see me up in the corner there explaining them as we go along, showing you different angles and bringing different people in. And I do wanna be bringing a few more guests in that are lined up in the next few weeks. You know, it, it, it's crazy so far. You know, I've got so much planned for it coming up and I've got so much things for it. Oh. And next year is going to be such a crazy year. I can't wait to show you different gyms, not just in the country, different gyms around the country, out of the country. And you know, the channel is only going to keep getting bigger. And I hope everyone does follow along with it because this is a great chance for you to get some good tips and follow along with a fitness journey. So I did say it wouldn't be in the same place. As you can see next week, it might be in the same place as you've seen today. And obviously back here, me describing this, but soon it's going to be in a different place. I even need to learn my own outro. I'm going to have to write it down on a piece of paper. So I'll see you next week in the same time at the same same place. My name's Jet. Peace.